Good morning, I'm Mr. Cadenhead, Principal at Folsom High, and this is your introduction to the Pawsport Handbook. Your teachers should have a Pawsport for each of you. Teachers, if you haven't already distributed the Pawsport and the Paws lesson sheets, please do so now. Students are required to have their student IDs and their Pawsports at all times on campus. Your Pawsport is a lot of things. A calendar, a day planner, a reference book for common information, a campus pass, and a rule book. Take just a moment and flip to the very back and you'll find a periodic table, common formulas for trig and algebra, and conversion tables for units of measure, among many other useful things. Flip to the middle of the pause port and you're going to find a calendar. There are two kinds, a month at a glance calendar and then week at a time pages. It's pretty handy for writing down assignments, homework, and due dates. Now, flip to the very front and there's a page you can use to join the PTSA. That's right, the S in PTSA stands for student. Your membership entitles you to the occasional discount and for senior students, the opportunity for PTSA scholarships. Join their website on the screen, FolsomHighPTSA.com. The next page is where you can write your info and your schedule. And the last column on that schedule chart is important. This is your evacuation area for each classroom. Look around right now and write down your pause homeroom evacuation area in your pause port. This week, you should write down all of your class evacuation areas. If an alarm goes off in between classes, you'll need to know where to go. That's just one reason why you always need to have your pause port with you. So let's skip ahead a bit to page four. That's the bell schedule. At the bottom, it, it explains how our A and B lunch system works. You really have to pay attention or you can go to the wrong lunch and be marked absent in a class. So on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, Lunch is based on your fourth period class. On Monday and Tuesdays, depending on what building or classroom you have during fourth period, you go to either A lunch before fourth or B lunch after fourth. On Thursdays, A lunch falls in the middle of fourth period and B lunch after fourth period. Wednesdays is much the same, except lunch is based on third period. Like I said, you really have to pay attention to this chart to know where to be and when. Fridays is a whole other story where lunch is based on fifth period. You'll get it, but it's going to take a while, and this pause port schedule is your salvation. Teachers also have this posted in their classroom if you need. Let's skim the next couple pages and note the community resources on page seven. Those are for you if you know anyone or you ever need help. Flip ahead again. See the thing on work permits on page nine. That's good information if you ever want to get a job. And then there's a chart on page 10. You've heard of Bulldog Pride, seen it on t-shirts or posters around campus. This is what it's all about. You can read it with me. P is productivity, R is responsibility, I is integrity, and D is diligence, E is for excellence. You can read it all there, and I'm not gonna spell it out for you. Wait a minute, I just did. After that are the graduation requirements. See, there's a lot of stuff in here that can keep you from asking unnecessary questions of teachers and counselors. If you take the time to flip through this and find it. Okay, let's skip way ahead to campus rules and policies on page 21. This is what you're responsible for knowing today. And by signing the pause orientation sheet, you agree that you know where all this information is and what's written in the book. Academic honesty, cheating, making stuff up, plagiarism, forgery, these are all examples of academic dishonesty. What happens to you if you're caught is listed on page 22 and 23. Starts with every staff member um, of the staff getting an email describing the academic dishonesty you are engaged in. If you cheat and you're caught, everyone will know. The attendance and absence policy is also there on page 24. FHS is a closed campus and you must attend school every day and stay on campus at all times. The parking lot and pond areas are off campus. Do not be there during school. Do not be there during lunch. If you're absent, make sure you have a doctor and or, or parent's excuse for your absent. So doctor or parent excuse. You must also make up any missed work within a certain amount of time as dictated by your teachers. Look at the computer internet, internet use policy now. Note that if you use the campus computers or network for anything other than schoolwork, 
you could have your login revoked and get a drop F in the course in which that behavior occurred. That means no computers on campus for you anymore, not even in the library. Ever wanted to know how the discipline procedure works? It's all there on page 29. From detention through getting expelled, you can't say you didn't know the rules. You've got a copy of them in your hand. Flip over to page 32. See the big chart there starting with level one offenses? You'll get to see a whole video about the rules and consequences later on. This is what will be covered in that video, condensed in a little handy little chart. So for now, skip the chart and skip ahead to page 38. Bullying. Bullying will not be tolerated at Folsom High School. There's a website we have to report bullying anonymously, and you can see that on page 38 and here on the screen. If you ever witness or experience bullying at Folsom High School, open the book or go to the high school website and please report it right away so we can help you. If you're interested in helping to promote a positive climate at Folsom High School, check out the Student Unity Project at Club Rush and get involved. At the bottom of page 38 is the dress code. You can read through it on page 39, but there's a drawing there to help you as well on page 40. No halter tops, no tube tops, no spaghetti straps, please. Do not sag your pants. Do not call violence or profanity or images that do the same. And guys, no tank top undershirts. Wear clothes that cover your body and your undergarments. That way, no one is distracted from their learning environment. Please turn to page 41. FHS is a drug and weapon free zone. There will be more details about that in the student conduct code video. Even fake weapons, fake weapons are not allowed at school. Below that is the electronic device section. You guys are allowed to have your phones on campus. They just cannot be used for inappropriate stuff like cheating and cyberbullying. Phones and tablets must be put away during class time unless you have explicit permission from your instructor to use them for classwork. Otherwise, they'll be confiscated and you can pick them up at the end of the school day. Repeated infractions will result in your parent having to come in and pick up your phone for you and conference with your vice principal. You don't want that. Also, please note that any personal electronics brought to school are your responsibility. If they are lost or stolen, there is often little we can do to help, unfortunately. We already talked about emergency procedures, so remember to write down each of your class emergency evacuation locations in the front of your pause port. Whenever the flag salute occurs at assemblies, games, or during the bulletin, we encourage you to participate and stand. If you choose not to participate, you may not disrupt the salute for others. Also, gum. No gum chewing is allowed on campus. A few years ago, the quad outside was covered with gum and it was nasty and it looked bad. A strict no gum policy has been in effect since then and our campus looks a whole lot better. Do your part, please. Leave your gum at home and don't spit it out on the floor or on somebody's ground. Have some bulldog pride, please. There's some other stuff there you can read, but let's go on to page 42 and read the thing about home baked goods on campus. No, you can't bring in baked goods. You must also carry your ID card with you every day at school. Every day. Please do not leave home without it. Now litter. Please pick up your trash. Do your part to keep our campus clean. We have a beautiful campus here at Folsom. Throw your trash away at the end of lunch, and if you see something that's left by someone else, please help out and throw it away. You'll see uh, our employees doing the same. A clean campus is every person's responsibility here on campus. Parking. If you drive a car to school, you need a permit. You can get your permit uh, through Student Accounts Office for $10. Park only in the student spaces in the lot behind the theater and gym by the stadium. Do not park anywhere else. If you park in the staff parking space, your car could be towed or you could lose your parking permit. Your parking permit is a privilege and it can be revoked. All right, there's some other stuff about posters, rallies, and social events. The school is a tobacco-free zone along with drugs and alcohol. You may not smoke anywhere on campus or near campus, even if you're 18, and this includes vaping. Now flip on over to page 45. You can use the page as your pass. You and your teacher can fill this out if you need to use the restroom or leave your classroom for any reason. This is another reason to always have your pause port with you along with your student ID and you may be stopped by campus security or admin and asked for it. And that's it.
The rest of the pause port is the calendar and reference sections. You're responsible for knowing where to find the rules and expectations. By signing the pause orientation sheet, remember, you agree that you know what the rules are, and if you have questions about what they are, you know where to find answers in the pause port. You can also talk to your administrator, your teachers, or your counselors. And remember, there are a lot of great reference materials in here, as well as information you might think only the counselors or the VPs have. But you've got a lot of information right here in your hand. At this time, please sign your pause orientation sheets and return them to your teacher. Thank you for paying attention and make it a great day to be a Bulldog.